This short video about globalization and Catholic educational institutions is brought to you by the Archdiocese of Caceres Instituto de Caceres School System where education aims for transformation. St. Paul in his letter to the Corinthians states that the world as we know is always passing away. The fall of the Roman Empire, the industrialization, the age of enlightenment, the globalization and even this time of pandemic are not culmination but are starting points of discernment, they are phases, as St. John Paul the Great said that the Christian cannot limit himself to analyzing historical processes as they happen, maintaining a passive attitude, as if they were beyond his capacity to intervene, as if we were led by blind and impersonal forces. We should not stand aloof in this world. We should be active in working for justice, freedom, respect for the dignity of the person, the common good, and peace. To be effective in the world, we must try to understand what is going forward in the world today. It is true that economic globalization is increasing the gap between rich and poor nations and peoples, even as it makes them more interdependent. Human being can feel treated as instruments and objects while working for the advancement in economic freedom and individual liberty. Professor Mary Ann Glendon of Harvard Law School said that globalization, due to industrialization and urbanization, tends to accelerate the decline of the mediating structures of civil society that of families, parishes, neighborhoods where the virtues that might serve to humanize globalization are instilled, reinforced, and transmitted from one generation to the next. In the mind of Thomas Friedman, the author of The Lexus and the Olive Tree, a popular and largely affirmative book on globalization, the more I observed the system of globalization at work, the more obvious it was that it had unleashed forest-crushing forces of development and Disney round-the-clock homogenization which, if left unchecked, had the potential to destroy the environment and uproot cultures at a pace never before seen in human history. Cultural foundations are at a brink of destruction. However, globalization, according to St. John Paul the Great, for all its risks, also offers exceptional and promising opportunities, precisely with a view to enabling humanity to become a single family, built on the values of justice, equity and solidarity. It is from this point that the Church has become the principal institutional advocate in the world through its commitment to human liberty and its acknowledgement of a single human family for which all bear a common responsibility. Catholic schools are instrumental to these churches' advocacies. Commitment to human liberty and uniting as one family. Catholic schools teach that living the whole Christian faith means living the preferential option for the poor, not to trivialize the problem of sin, the relevance of the moral teachings that make a commitment to solidarity sustainable, and to work for social justice. The civilization of life and love will always be embedded in Catholic schools' curriculum. The Church Intellectual Apostolate is integral to her mission.